I'm going to show you how to install the developer beta profile on your iPhone, which will give you the option to get iOS 14 and all of the beta versions of iOS right now. I'm Lucas from Apple Facts. Let's begin. Okay, so yes, this does work for iOS 14. It has to be at first released by Apple, but once it does, then you will have the option to download and install the first developer beta of iOS 14, which comes even before the public beta. So you have even advantage right there. Okay, so let me show you that I'm currently running iOS 13.3 and the latest available software update is 13.4.1. So I don't have any betas or anything running at the moment. So the first thing you have to do, and like I said, this also works right now, even running iOS 13 without the iOS 14 out there. So you open up Mm, okay, good. My lights went out, so let me raise the brightness a little bit of that. So, <laughs> let's just continue with the video. Now, now, what I wanted to say was uh, that there is a website, and the link is, of course, down below in the description, uh, right below the link to my Instagram, so you can take a look at that as well. And the website is called betaprofiles.com. This is, uh, this is a website where you can actually get the beta. You can see iOS 13 download at the moment. Like I said, it works now for iOS 13. Once the iOS 14 will be released, you will see iOS 14 right here, but pretty much the same stuff going on. You can see it's being updated all the time. So 13.5 at the moment, click download. Now click allow, which will make it actually download. So you can see the profile has been downloaded. Now come back. Click cancel and come back. You can see if you go to the settings here in the main section, you can already see profile downloaded. If you click on this, you can actually install it. So make sure to type in your passcode just like usual. You have to actually agree with all of the things, but click on install, click on install once again. And this is pretty much it. The profile has been verified. So what happens now and from now on, what you will be able to see is in the general section and software update section, you will always get the developer updates instead of the regular updates that you would normally get. But now, because of the beta profile, you have developer beta 4 of 13.5, which is the latest beta available at the moment. But right now, it's also pretty much worth it to install this 13.5 because there is this bug where you actually wear face mask on the iPhone 11 and the cutout on the iPhones and if you go like this and if you just swipe up and the phone actually cannot read your face it really takes long until the passcode actually pops up so uh, on the 13.5 I mean they included the option to type in the passcode a lot quicker than usual so that's kind of useful when it comes to 13.5 alongside other things of course but the positive thing i'm trying to say here is that if you do this now for the people watching the video right now when 13.5 is the latest available software update then if you do this now you already have the developer beta profile installed on your iphone and what that means the first developer beta which comes out when it comes to ios 14 you will of course get the update at the same time which means that you will be ahead of all of the public beta testers and pretty much ahead of everyone else, which is going to wait until September or anytime the uh, iOS 14 will be released publicly. So you get them, you have actually an advantage of installing the developer beta profile. But if you would for some reason want to come back, you can just simply remove uh, the profile from settings general and here you can see profile. You just click on this and you click on remove profile. It's very simple, but you can do that and then you will reboot your iPhone and the next software update that you get will be uh, the official public update that everybody gets. So it's as simple as that and I think I've covered all of the things I wanted here. Now, if you are new on the Apple Fox, I want to say that you should definitely click on the subscribe button because I plan on posting a lot more videos like these. So make sure you don't miss it and make sure you don't miss future content. I want you to also support the video with thumbs up if this method worked for you. And for more videos, make sure to stay tuned and see you guys later in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.